Hi there, and welcome to Alex Says, where you ask questions and I answer them. My goal is to help you speak English like never before. My ultimate goal is to help you become a better human being. Let's begin. In today's show, there will be no questions. In today's show, I'm going to explore a truly remarkable and absolutely revolutionary innovation that 30 years ago came in our lives like a rocket, changed part of our culture drastically, which means very much or a lot, and entered our language forever. Now we can hardly imagine ourselves without it. It means it is difficult for us to imagine, to see ourselves without it. Every day, whenever we go, we see it. We see it in the city streets, we see it in shops, and we see it in the internet. Moreover, we use it, and we use it a lot. What is the innovation I'm talking about? This is the QR code. Many people use QR codes every single day, and I'm sure you do it too. But still some have a vague idea, still some have an unclear picture, a not crystal clear idea what a QR code really means, where it comes from and what we need it for. And this is what I'm going to explore, I'm going to discuss in this video. Let's go! What does a QR code mean? First of all, we have to understand that this is an abbreviation. It is a short form of a word or phrase. In our case, it is a phrase, a QR code. What does it really mean? Q stands for quick. Q means quick. R stands for response. R means response. It means uh, a reply or an uh, answer or a reaction to something. A code. It is a system of words, signs or um, numbers for sending secret messages. Hmm, interesting. So, let's see what we have here. A QR code is a system that has a pattern, a form or a shape, usually of black and white squares, which can be read by a mobile device or by a computer. So, for example, your mobile device can easily read the co code and can understand the code and can react to the code very quickly. Do you want to stop making mistakes when you speak English? Do you want to get automatic respect from people when you speak English? Do you want to speak true, real and excellent English? And if you say yes to any of these questions, I say go and grab my English courses. Do my English courses. The reason I have created these English courses because I want the best for you. I want you to succeed in speaking English and most importantly, I want you to become fantastic human beings. So you know what to do, right? Go, grab the courses, do the courses and start speaking English the way you never did before. See you soon! And where did it come from? The concept, the idea of a QR code was created in 1994 by the Japanese company called Denzo Wave. The subsidiary, the small company of a car manufacturer, a car producer, Toyota Motor Corporation. The codes were created to track automobile parts during manufacturing process. The codes were designed so that the coded information could be decoded at very high speed. 
In other words, uh, the codes were designed so that they could translate uh, information about automobile parts into a normal language very quickly. And that is why it is called a quick response code or a QR code for short. And finally, what do we need them for? The QR codes today are used as a label to provide further information about something. It can hold much more data. It means it can have much more information, including links to websites or videos. The information about the product you are interested in or the information about the service you want to have and so much more. I, for one, use QR codes very often. It means I, for example, use QR codes very often. I scan the image with my phone's camera and immediately I get access to the information I need. It means when I scan the image with my phone's camera, immediately I have a right to have the information I need. So a QR code is the master key that unlocks, that opens the door to the information you need. And it does it very quickly. And uh, now I'm sure you have a better understanding of what the QR code really means, where it comes from and what we need it for. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for helping spread the message. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. See you soon.